This driver created a beautiful moment, which took everyone by surprise. I'll also show when Mercedes gave one kid the ride of a lifetime. The moment when a driver stopped mid-race to help his crashed rival. And all other most beautiful moments as well. Starting with Romain Grosjean, because when he lost control at the 2020 Bahrain Grand Prix... And a big fire there! His car split in half. The fire was so intense that no one thought he would survive. But he did. Thanks to the FIA, and especially the marshals. So when he came back to the circuit, he did this. You, you were the man across the road. <laughs> man, Grosjean did a beautiful thing there. But this driver had to thank his rival, because when Mark Webber's car broke down, he was left stranded in the middle of the track. So what Alonso, his competitor, did next was simply beautiful. Mark Webber gets a lift back from his mate. That's incredible. But guys, this is literally the beginning, because later we'll show the most beautiful gesture this Mercedes driver made to his rival. But now you've got to see what Ferrari did to a child. Because when Kimi Raikkonen collided with Verstappen and retired, a young Raikkonen fan was seen crying. So Ferrari invited him to their hospitality suite. He met his idol and even watched the winning celebrations with the team. But this Red Bull driver surprised everyone, because when Lewis Hamilton and Mercedes finished on the podium in Mexico, he got booed by the crowd. But Sergio Perez, the home hero, came to the rescue. Hey. Lewis Hamilton, second place. He but do you know what's insane? The remarkable thing this Ferrari driver did. Because when Rubens Barrichello was in the lead, it was obvious he'll win the 2002 Austrian Grand Prix. But that didn't happen. Because on the last corner of the last lap, Ferrari made a Ferrari strategy. He's not going to let Michael through, is he? No, they're going to... Yes, he is! Ah! I do not believe it! He doesn't deserve to win it. That is outrageous. Ferrari did this in order to improve Schumacher's standing in the Drivers' Championship. Or so they say. Barrichello was heartbroken. Fans were furious as he was the clear winner. But even after all that, Schumacher still gained the respect of his fan, because what he did next was just beautiful. And we'll come back to it. But first, you need to see what happened when this driver won his first race. Because as soon as Elliott Chase won his first NASCAR Cup Series at Watkins Glen, he ran out of fuel. This left him stranded mid-track, so his teammate came to the rescue. I got my man Timmy Jam coming. Well, I mentioned it was going to be the greatest cool push he's ever right had. There. Isn't that beautiful? But this F1 champion had the moment of a lifetime. Imagine spending 15 years of your life as an F1 driver, putting all the hard work, dedication and sacrifice, just so you can win the championship. And then he did. Nigel Mansell even won nine races from a 16 race season. He gave all of his life to racing. And so, on the 30 year anniversary of his championship win, he got this beautiful surprise. Right, this is your original seat. Yeah, Definitely got smaller. exposed we were. I think the protection they've got now. I just want to let you know how really, really proud I am to be here. Mansell met again with his title-winning car, the FW14B. Now that's beautiful. But Mercedes created a beautiful moment too, because during the British Grand Prix, a young fan of Valtteri Bottas went above and beyond to show his love for the driver. He held a Finnish flag, painted his hair blue, and even wrote 77 on his face in support of the driver. So Mercedes brought him into the AMG Petrin at Silverstone, where he got a wonderful surprise. I've a picture of you in Silverstone. With this one and all the paintings. I want to give you this one. Oh, thanks. Man, that's beautiful. And before I show you what Michael Schumacher did to gain back the respect in that Austria GP race, you've got to see what went down between these two rivals, Fernando Alonso and Lewis Hamilton. Because when Alonso and Hamilton were racing neck to neck in Belgium, disaster happened. Here comes Hamilton into the Lacombe chicane, and they make contact! What an idiot! This guy only knows how to drive and start him first. This shocked everyone, but by accepting his mistake, Alonso immediately apologised and buried the hatchet by meeting him personally. He even called Hamilton a legend and a champion. Now that's beautiful. But what's even more beautiful is the moment between these two competitors. Because after Alex Premat and James Courtney crashed badly, James was stuck completely. He couldn't get out at all. Before anything serious could have happened, Alex came to the rescue. And Alex has gone just to help him get out. He won't going to have to somehow needle his way through there. So this shows what true sportsmanship is. But did you know Ferrari also created a beautiful moment? It was the Italian Grand Prix. So obviously the entire track was filled with Ferrari fans. <laughs> 
It had been nine years since Ferrari won that race in Italy, so clearly everyone was eager to see what happens this time. Welcome to Monza! Forza Ferrari! Siamo da dieci anni e c'erano diecimila persone. Non vinciamo da per vent'anni e ci saranno ventimila persone. Ferrari's Charles Leclerc led the race, but was under great pressure from the two Mercedes. Lewis Hamilton attacked every chance he got and remained close to Leclerc almost the entire race. Clearly, it was the Mercedes who were quicker, so it looked like Ferrari fans would have to wait another year for the win. But not this time, said Leclerc, because by brilliantly defending and giving his all, he did the unexpected. Charles Leclerc has coped brilliantly! Charles Leclerc is the winner of the Italian Grand Prix! Man, that's crazy. Comment below what you think of this. Would you want to be there in Italy and experience it? But now, we've got to talk about F1 management, as they did a beautiful thing too. Because when this blind guy, Sharaf Edin Eitales, revealed he was an F1 superfan, F1 decided to give him the surprise of a lifetime. In 30 minutes time, you're going in the two-seater. You're joking or what? 100%. Seriously? Seriously. What? <laughs> what, a surprise. <laughs> what a surprise you make to me? Yeah. I'm not crying. You are. Now finally, here's what Michael Schumacher did to gain back the respect of his fans. Since Barrichello was the obvious choice for the win, Schumacher gently shoved Barrichello to the first place on the podium. He also handed him the first position trophy. But that's not all, because after his fifth championship was guaranteed, he also returned the favour to Barrichello at the US Grand Prix, because when these two drivers were finishing as the top two, and with Schumacher in the lead, he slowed down so that Ferrari could show the legendary finish. Both cars side by side. But that's not all, because what Schumacher did next was simply awesome. Who's going to win this Grand Prix? It's a mystery! It's 0.0. .0. His first over, Barrichello has been given the win. Barrichello 5.011 of a second. Now, even though Michael never publicly said he did that on purpose, I guess we can all still connect the dots. No wonder he's one of the greatest of all time. But look, now that we're in the top three moments of this video, let's take things to a whole new level. Like the time when all the teams came together to help out one driver. When every driver was crossing the finish line at the 2015 Coke Zero 400, this happened. He spins back in, gets the three airborne, and he just gets projected off the other cars right up into the fence. Austin Dillon crashed horribly. It was just terrible. But what happened next shows humanity still exists. To assist these drivers, all the crews getting out to that car, thumbs going up from all the crew members. Thank God the crews helped instantly. But more than 30 years ago, a legend by the name of Ayrton Senna also saved someone's life. Because during the practice sessions for the 1993 Belgian Grand Prix, Ligier's French driver Eric Comas crashed hard at the Balanchemont corner, ending up right in the middle of the track. The crash's impact was so big, Comas lost consciousness. When Senna got close to his crashed car, he noticed Comas passed out, with his foot still on the throttle. This could have ended horribly, but Senna came to the rescue. He literally jumped out of his car and ran towards Comas to save his life. Senna immediately switched off the car and administered first aid before the medical team arrived, and Comas did survive because of this. Now that's a legend, right there. And finally, out of all the moments shown earlier, here's the most beautiful moment, the one that happened on the crazy night of Abu Dhabi. Everyone knows what happened in the final F1 race of 2021, but what you didn't know is what happened after the final decision was made. After Lewis Hamilton and his Mercedes made a solid lead from Verstappen, it was clear Hamilton will win the race. And since both drivers had the exact same points, the one who'll win this race will also win the championship. And what a brutal championship fight it was. Verstappen! Verstappen now on the inside joins Hamilton in battle. Verstappen's ahead of Lewis Hamilton. China cuts and they touch. That's a big crash. They go wheel to wheel with Verstappen's in Lewis Hamilton. Contact. Oh, oh they touched Hamilton. But just when Hamilton could smell his eighth title, the man, the myth, the legend, Nicholas Latifi crashed. And well, you know what happened next. Lap cars to overtake the safety car. Michael, this isn't right. Lewis Hamilton and Max Verstappen side by side. Verstappen has the faster, fresher tyres. Far enough back, he's going to make the lunge down the inside. Hamilton sees it. Oh, Controversy of all the magic moments in Formula One. Max Verstappen, for the first time ever, is champion. Oh my lord, Max! Oh my god! 
Now, whatever you say about the drivers, you've got to feel for Hamilton. He gave his all and was even about to win, and that too on genuine race pace. But even after all this, he did the beautiful thing. So, Jensen Button is down in park. A big congratulations to Max and to his team. Now, that shows what sportsmanship should be between two legends.